Welcome to an Auto Photo video. And I have Johan here and he's going to explain a few things. Um, I'm a photographer and I would like to go on landscape photography, but I want that high quality photos. So I've heard about people talking about stitching and mm -hmm. using uh, panoramics. So taking a few photos to do a high detail landscape photo. And Johan is uh, here with us. He's going to explain us what gear you're going to need and how to make this a reality. Yeah. yeah, so so basically you want a, a high quality panoramic image of a landscape. Okay. All right. Um, so some people just um, take a wide angle shot and they go crop it uh, in a panoramic orientation. But you will lose some quality, of course, because you're cropping into the image. So the solution would be to, to take multiple images and then stitch them together. That's so you have light, one yeah. in Lightroom and Photoshop. Well, you get uh, multiple um, software to do that with. Uh, Lightroom and Photoshop are capable. Uh, you also get some other programs that are um, specifically designed. Uh, one such one would be PT GUI. It's a, it's a very um, popular software for doing that. Okay, so going into gear, um, you know, some guys would just argue that um, you could just mount your camera, and you can actually do that, uh, mount your camera onto your ball head, and then just, you know, pan it sideways and do a number of shots and then go stitch them together. Um, that is a feasible solution, but the problem you have there is in, uh, in horizontal orientation, you have very limited height. You have a, a limited vertical field of view. So to solve that problem, we would want to, to actually orientate the camera in a vertical orientation. So you get more height out of your lens, and you would need a rig like this. Um, yeah, this is a Benro. It's actually, um, it consists out of a few components. Um, you have two rotators, and then you have this L bracket, which will allow you to mount the camera. Let me just get it on. So that allows you to mount the camera in a vertical orientation and, and now you can actually so do... So actually the front element of the lens must be in line with your tripod and uh, must be level as well. Yes, you want to, to rotate the camera right across the center of the tripod. Um, hence, you need this rig. So you'd be able to, to actually move it sideways, if I can show it like this. Um, you'll be able to move it sideways and the purpose of this is in order to get the center of the lens right over the middle of the tripod. So that seems about right. You don't want it on the side of, of the center of the tripod because then you will get a, a problem called parallax, which is um, defined basically if you have something in the foreground, something in the background, and you're looking, looking at the foreground object from two different angles, um, the background object would seem to move left and right. It's like closing one eye. Yes, exactly. Way. So if you close one eye and the other, you will see stuff moving in the background, and you don't want that because that or, or foreground and background objects won't be in the same place between the two images. Okay. So then you get, you get stitching problems. Um, they, they don't line up. So that's why you need to have the camera right across the center of, of your tripod. All right, another thing that you mentioned, having it level. So we've got this uh, very simple leveling head. Um, it allows you to adjust the level on three points. So you can make sure that your, your camera is dead level. Um, that is so you get a, a straight and, and level image. Otherwise, it, it will bend down to the one side and you need to crop it anyways. And that way you lose a bit of, of your image. Um, to also help you to get it level, yeah, you, you notice that I have this little thing. It's a bubble level that just pops onto the, onto the hot shoe here. And yeah, it's a three-way level, so you can set it level in all, so all the different exactly directions. Yeah. correct in any circumstance. Yes. And once you've done that, um, then you can start doing your, your panorama. Okay, no, cool stuff. Uh, if you guys enjoy this video, I certainly do. I'm gonna, definitely going to try <laughs> this out. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, questions that you have, you would like us to answer, you can put in the comment section below and we'll get back to you on that. Thanks, Yuan. Sure, welcome. <laughs>